Glenn Campbell put out some of the coolest tunes of the late 60s and early 70s. Now, he, of course, didn't write any of them. Many of them, well, at least three important ones, were written by uh, Jimmy Webb. And uh, Glenn's versions of them launched him into being huge hits. This one is, of course, Galveston. And uh, it was um, originally Don Ho did it, believe it or not. Don Ho, the Hawaiian artist. And um, didn't go over it. Didn't it didn't do very well if you listen to the uh the version it's never mind enough said about don ho's version but don did bring the song interesting even though you know glenn knew jimmy webb um don brought the song to him because he was on glenn's tv show the good time hour and and gave him a copy of the single said harry why don't you try this it didn't do didn't do very well for me well glenn's guitar playing and um arranging made it made it a monster and it is it's such a cool tune now the the original jimmy webb's version was much more melancholy i guess uh you know about soldier going off to war dreaming about his home in galveston his girlfriend and um it got kind of misconstrued as an anti-war song when it came out in 1969 but uh he was more just trying to reflect on people that are in places they don't would and they'd rather be somewhere else and that's kind of what the story here but Glenn's version made it upbeat and and just kind of a rocker and had just uh, anyway it it was fabulous. Now, the progression has some really unusual things. So we're going to go through some uh, some chord talking about chords that are a little difficult to play. Glenn Glenn is really comfortable playing. Glenn was really good, and so chords out of like the C family, no problem for him. So he did a lot of stuff that that you might find um, challenging. and But we're gonna look at a couple different ways of playing this. Um, uh, one is in just the original key, which is F, and uh, playing it in F using a whole bunch of bar chords. But we're also gonna look at playing it in D, capoed at the third fret, which changes the sound a lot. Matter of fact, when you hear this, when you hear that opening lick, it lands on an F, but what you really hear, You really hear a strumming guitar playing a D shape chord barred at the third fret, and it really has a different tone quality, I guess would be a better term, than the F played as a normal bar because it has the third on the top. And of course, when you're playing a D shape of a chord, you have all kinds of <clears throat> nice little variations you can mess around with on the first string that don't really lend themselves to playing the F down here. Um, let's see, the, and really just had two sections, had some unusual chords. Same chord we heard in By the Time I Get to Phoenix. No, Wichita Lineman. Which opened up. Very similar little pentatonic run opened up Wichita Lineman, similar to the one in Galveston. Um, anyway, uh, first we'll go through a lot of the chords. The many, most of the chords we're going to talk about are going to be in the key of F, which means we're going to see an F and a B flat and a G minors and C's. And then the unusual sounding dominant chord that we get in this song in this key is going to be the equivalent of a C chord, but C11. Did I call it C11 in here? No, I called it C with D in the bass. Um, wait. Anyway, we'll get back to that. So... Um, some unusual chords that happen in here. It's not C with D in the bass. Um, it's B flat with C in the bass. And also known as C11. Okay, uh, I think that's enough, enough rambling about the tune. We're going to take a look at all this cool stuff that happens in Galveston. <laughs> 